Hi guys, this is Jolt. Today's video is going to be a part of a five episode series. I created five lists there uh, of the products I used in the past three years and the ones I picked as I would recommend them anytime. I'm not going to call them my favorite products because favorite is, is a very, very interesting word when we are talking about these kind of items you know it's like i haven't tried everything i will never try everything it will be very difficult to call something the favorite but these are the ones that i'm going to recommend you at any point at some products i'm going to give you some extra insight otherwise i'm just going to list them in case some items didn't make it to my list then it doesn't necessarily mean that they were not good they were just not something special or i haven't seen something special in them um, that would grant to mention them individually before we start the series i'm going to show you these products which i have already but i haven't managed to try them yet because of lack of time or whatever reason so all these ones are still going to be tested and of course I will get in the future more products so this one is just a recap of the past three years So let's kick it. The first episode is about the following categories. Uh, from time to time I'm going to look down because the list is under the camera. So obviously I need to read it from somewhere. Uh, so the following categories are going to be in today's episode. It's going to be like towels, brushes, all kind of other tools, uh, clay bars, some engine bay protection, uh, foam cannons, microfiber wash, water spot removers and disinfectants so just to start with the first one the towels and the other tools and accessories um, oh by the way just to let you know the list is based on more or less as the videos appeared on my channel so no particular order no alphabetical no I don't know best to worst worst to best whatever it's just more or less as they appeared on the channel so um, the microfiber towels i liked all of them from luxury microfiber uh, it's a company in america in the united states um, they have very nice towels i would recommend to anyone the problem for us europeans is obviously the vat and customs so that increases the price significantly I was lucky at the first batch when I ordered, but at the second, not as lucky. So I had to pay share loads of additional duties. And obviously there are some substitutes available in Europe. So, but if you are in the US, luxury microfiber towels are very nice. Then I like the towels of Nanolex and the rack company, including their wash mitts. The rack company's wash mitts are also nice and the towels too. Uh, I can recommend all the towels from Profipolish. It's a company based in Germany and they have very nice towels and well they have all kind of other nice things but in this category the towels and uh, the microfiber wash mitts and their wheel woolies are also very nice. Then Lotus Cleaning, it's a company in Hungary. They have nice towels as well. Almost all their towels that I tried are okay or nice. However, um, there were a couple of things that I disliked. Their wash mitts are, and their wash microfiber wash pads are not so good. Then detail guards. I like the detail guards. Those are the little plastics that I chuck under the rear wheels or any of the wheels. So the hose of the uh, pressure washer is not getting cold while it's moving around. Then I like the bottles from Sipon. 
and the sprayers from Canyon. Also the K2 Auron uh, soft leather brush was nice. The Arbor all towels are also very nice considering the price. So I'm not saying that they are the top of the list. However, uh, taking into consideration the price, it's a very good value for money. Then uh, the towels and wash mitts from Chemical Guys are good, pricey, but they are good. Also the uh, microfiber applicator from Mafra, I really liked it. It made the job very simple to do, very quick. Then I also like the towels and the masking tapes from GNG Detailing. Also, I tried two of the Marolex products. One is a hand foamer and the other one is a hand sprayer. They are very durable, very ergonomic, not the cheapest, but they, definite, they are definitely worth the money. So I would hands on hand recommend these Marolex sprayers and foamers anytime. Then recently I tried the ADBL towels, microfiber towels. They are okay. Um, they are not in the premium category. They are above average, but their price is on the average or maybe even a bit below. So it's a very good value for money. They are good towels. And also the Q1 masking tape. I, I really liked it. it. It was working as expected. Our next category is the clay bars. Clay bars, I haven't really tried many of them. There was one which was working fine, but I would not necessarily buy it again or buy it because I received that one for free. Uh, I'm not even going to mention it. I'm just going to say the ones that I liked. Um, it was the one from Built Humber. I really liked it. Um, the good thing about the Built Humber clay compared to others is that it's more than enough if you use only water. You don't need any clay lube or soapy water or whatever. Plain water will do the trick. Then the clay bars from Chemical Guys, they are okay. They are not the cheapest, but they work. They do what they're supposed to and they are durable. And also the clay bar from Dodo Juice was fine. However, it's also not the cheapest, um, but again, it does what it's supposed to. Then engine bay protection. I didn't really try many of the engine bay protection stuff, but uh, what I would highlight is the Koshami or Kochemi um, motor plast. It's easy to use. It's, it's a good product. Uh, foam cannons. Yes, I haven't tried an extensive range of foam cannons. Um, however, the ones that I tried are these cheap Chinese knockoffs. They are okay. They are better than many of the uh, factory default um, accessories or bottles or foam cannons that are coming with some of the um, pressure washers. But they are like like the price, you know, they are usually this $15 category. So not the best, it's better than nothing. But the ones that were really good are the MJJC Foam Cannon and now the Foam Cannon, I'm sorry, the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro and the Pro 2.0. Other than their looks, there is not much of a difference in their performance. So whichever you would get, it doesn't matter. It, it would perform the same. Um, the other foam cannon that I liked was the one from Dunking Biscuit. It is, uh, well, its performance is a bit under the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro. And also, it, when it's empty, it, it tends to tip over because it's very top heavy and the bottom of the bottle is not as wide. So they could improve on that one. Other than that, it's also a good one. I would recommend it anytime. Uh, but again, MJJC Foam Cannon Pro is my go-to. Then, um, microfiber wash. Usually I use the non-scented liquid wash nut because that's very easy to source from my local Tesco's or whatever shop. However, its price went up recently. But there are some very good dedicated products for this purpose, and they are definitely better than the liquid wash nut. And they are the Dunking Biscuit Dynamic, for example. I really liked it. 
and also the ADBL Microwash. That's also a very good product. They both do whatever they're supposed to. Nice scent, nice cleaning power. Um, uh, it's specifically made for um, microfiber towels. Then water spot removers. I didn't try, again, a lot of them. There was one which was told it's very good for water spots. For me, it didn't really work out. However, the Chemical Guys water spot remover, I would recommend hands on heart anytime. Again, not the cheapest product, but it works very well, easy to use, and it, it never failed. To whoever I uh, recommended it, they were all very grateful so far. And this in disinfectant, <laughs> the paper just fell. <laughs> anyway, that's the list. Uh, that's the last uh, item on the list. So from the disinfectants, I again, I didn't try a lot of them. There is actually one on the table which I still need to try. And the one that I tried and I would recommend without hesitation is the Dunkin' Biscuit Revoke. It does what it's supposed to. Again, it's not something like, it's not something the cheapest, but it, none of these um, sanitizers are very cheap at all. So, especially at these times. So that's the first episode of the series. We went through the list. So catch you on the next one. Bye.